Welcome back everyone and welcome to Escape with Feathers. This is part three. If you haven't seen the last two, you might want to catch up with those first so you know what we're working on and what we're leading to as well and you won't have missed any steps. But if you're coming back, hi, thanks so much for coming back. And I'm loving all the feathers you're cutting and all the wings you're making. Thanks for sending all the pictures, they look amazing. They look really, really cool. And so this is what your stage you should have got to after tutorial number three. Obviously you'll have two of these, I've only made one, I'm just speeding through these things for you. But you should have two, um, so that you can make your owl at the end of it. Um, obviously there's not so much texture on it yet, but we'll get there. But what I'm going to go through today is creating wing arms. So these wing arms will attach to your body uh, and they're also poseable, so you can make the wing do whatever you want it to do. And impose your owl really, so whether it's hovering, flying really fast, whatever you want to do, you can do that to the wing afterwards. But we also want to make it so that it's going to be able to attach to the body. Now the wing on its own can be beauty feathered and everything else, but there's no way of t attaching that to a body without messily sticking it on. So by creating a wing arm with, well I'm going to use wire and tape, uh, but if you don't have metal wire you can do it with card as well, I'll go through both options with you. But what it does, it allows your wing to attach securely to the body. And I'll show you quick on the template sheet what I mean. If you look at this guy here, you'll notice that the arm sticking out of the body there, that's what the paper wings attach to. And the bodies I make actually with the kits, which I obviously can't do at the moment because I'm not at the studio, come like this in the kit, ready for you to attach the wings to. But hopefully you can make your own bodies at home uh, that you can then attach these beautiful wings you're going to make to the body. I'm going to go through that as well at a later date. But now, what we're going to do is we're going to start creating these wing arms. I'm going to show you how to, and I'm going to bring you in a bit closer to get that going. Right, so what you're going to need is template sheet number one. And this is the one with all the owls fully made up on top of, and mainly with your owl with the wing arms. Okay. So those wing arms is what we're going to need to trace. So you're going to need tracing paper, and you're going to need a pencil. And what we're going to do is you're going to trace around, you'll notice there's two lines, there's a dark line on the outside, and slightly in from there is a little dotted line. We're actually going to trace that little dotted line, because the main outside line is indicating where the wire sits. And we don't want it too fat to take over the whole wing. So we're going to trace around that dotted line, side of the body. So the shape you've got is like that. Obviously you need two of those because you're doing two wings. I'm just doing one for now to speed through this for you. We get the template sheet out of the way. And what we want to do with this, you want to trace this shape onto paper. And it doesn't matter what paper you use for this. If you've got some thicker paper or card stock it's probably good. But paper is alright if we're doing the wire versions. This is for the wire and paper version. So remember to flip your tracing paper over so the carbon's on the opposite side. And you're going to run your pencil back over the top to push that carbon through onto the paper. Like so. Lift it up. You can see that pencil line there. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Cut that out with scalpel and mat again. You can do with scissors. Children's everywhere here, so I'm going to grab them all. And I cut the whole shape out. Like so. Okay, so that's one wing arm shape from the cutting mat there. And the next step, if you do have wire, so what I use is this craft wire, and it's 0.9 millimeters thick, and it's nice, very easy to bend, 
nice wire. But if you've got a thinner wire, or even a slightly thicker one, feel free to use it. All it's going to do is hold the wings in place and also make them poseable. So I'm going to cut a length of this off. My snips. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around the edge of my wing shape. Gently bend the wire around the shape. Like so. Just trace around the edge. Okay, so you can see, you can see that much, but again, some white paper for you. You can see the shape there. Okay, but also what I'm going to do is make sure I'm going to come back up the flat edge to the back to the start of the wire. So I'm closing that shape off. Again, I'll grab the white paper so I can show you. So you're creating that shape there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to trim these excess bits off. You still want a bit left on, so don't cut it all the way down. So you're left with sliding around that shape like that. Okay. And your next step is to actually stick the wire to the paper. Now for this I use my masking tape again. Use any tape you like, anything you've got lying around. What it's going to do is secure the inside shape to your wire, lay that across, lift it up, wrap my tape around the whole piece. So I'm almost filling in in between the wire like that. I'm actually going to continue that all the way around this wing support. And gentle not to ruin the shape at all, but making sure tacking the wire to the shape as I go. You don't want too long a length of tape because it ends up getting into a right mess. Just do a little bit at a time. Make sure we go around the back as well. Like so. And then that is a complete wing arm for you. Okay. So you can see the full shapes there, and then you've got this extra wire sticking up the back. And the extra wire is where that, that's going to go into the owl's body and secure the wing to the owl. As you can see, it's fully, fully poseable, so you can bend it any way you like, which is great. So you can shake the wing however you like as well, once it's glued on. So once you've made your shape, or both shapes, sorry, because you're doing two wings, what you then can do is line it up on your wing. Okay, now what I do is I make sure the leading edge matches the top of my wing, like that. And you notice how just below the wing support, your paper wing support actually, just pokes out the bottom. So don't cover that up, because all this is going to be covered by your lovely textured feathers afterwards. And what we're going to do is going to glue that to the wing, and we're going to use Yoohoo. I'm going to glue it all down to there. So any glue you've got works. Obviously my go-to is Yoohoo. And I'm actually going to glue the whole back of this wing support. Like that. Not 
tons of it because it'll go everywhere, but enough that it's actually going to secure the wing to the wing support. This glue glue is best to your fingers than anything else, which is always fun. And then I'm going to press this wing support down onto the wing. Keep pressing until it sticks in place. Can get all over the table as well, which is always good. Everywhere. And notice I can pick the wing up now by that bit of metal. So the wing support fully holds that wing. So you can imagine that that then will slide into the owl's body as on these guys here. So you imagine that wire is going into the body. As I said, the wings are fully poseable now as well. So you notice how it's got that nice curve to the wing. Like that. Just works really nicely and it holds your wing in place and makes it poseable. Now, if you haven't got metal wire in your arsenal at home, what we can do is make the similar thing, but this time we're going to make it out of card instead of wire. So again, you'll do exactly the same at the start. You'll trace your wing support shape, and the wing support shape is the dotted line on the inside, not the main thick line on the outside. Okay, and then for card, if you've got a thick card stuck around, they use that. I haven't here, but what I have got is my tracing pad. And on the back of the tracing pad is this lovely thick card on the back. So I use this quite a lot actually for wing supports and larger pieces. And it works really well. And what you can do is trace your shape again onto this card. Like so. Okay, see that on there, top corner up here. So you got your shape, but you'll notice that unlike this spring support here, you don't have the extension coming out that goes into the body. So we're actually going to add our extension onto this shape before we cut it out. So if you draw on the top, top corner of the wing support, if you draw a tab coming out from your wing. So it looks like that. Okay, and we're going to cut that shape out now. I'm going to cut him out again on my knife. And you can use scissors again if you like, whichever you've got to hand, which is ever easiest for you. And what I'm going to do, this is going to take a little bit of extra pressure, this nice thick card. And I'm going to wet my way around the edge. Just cut it out like so. Make sure you've got a nice sharp knife. Okay. I'm going to go along a second time just to go through. Through. Extra thick card this is. There we go, I can feel cutting that now. Let's see if it comes out. There we go. A bit more resistance at the top. There you go. Get out of the way. See, we now have a nice wing support shape made out of card, like that. Now another thing to note is this thick support at the back. 
What I like to do is I like to just cut or nick in halfway on that and then gently score down the centre of it so then I can fold it so it's quite thick this card I can fold it and make an extra thick wing support if you can see that V shape in the back there it makes it slightly thinner so the hole you put into your owl this could then can slide in and exactly the same thing you can glue it onto your wing like so and again that little nodule that comes out can go into your owl's body and you'll think well the card's not very really poseable but it actually is it's actually very poseable you can bend it around pose your wing just as you like and it does exactly the same job as the wire one just depends what you've got to hand Okay, so you've got two options there for your wing supports, either or, whichever materials you've got lying around. Glue it to your wings, so then your wings, they're fully ready to feather. And I hope you've been practicing all these feathers, I'm not sure you have, I've seen lots of them actually, they're amazing. So you're going to the nice textured ones at the front, and then the less textured ones on the back. Okay, and then I think I'm going to go over that tomorrow, all the feathering, and we're going to start Again, the same template sheet as today. I'm going to start with the back of the wings. So these are these guys here. So if you want to trace these shapes out, cut them out. Remember, leave the little tabs at the very back. And then we'll come back into that point tomorrow. Alright guys, thanks so much. And I uh, can't wait to see what you get done this time.